All right. Track guides, but this time for C-Fixed. Or NASCAR trucks, if you will. And I don't really do much of these, so I can't really comment on anything. Long run speed, you know, race pace and all that. How the groove might change, because I don't race these. But I can put together a decent lap. Figured I might as well put that out there. And any track that actually requires skill, I'll continue to do these up until the start of the NASCAR season. And then anything goes, I might do more, might not. All depends uh, if anybody wants it. So anyways, let's just uh, get to the lap. No keys to the race card, since, you know, again, I can't comment on any of that. So we're just going to show the lap and uh, talk about it. Alright, so I'm going to show two laps. One on the bottom, one up higher. They got similar lap times, but we're only going to talk about the one on the bottom. So I'll show that lap, then the other lap, and then we'll talk about it, you know, like usual. So, steering ratio 12 to 1, whatever the default was, 60 on the brake bias. And that's it, nothing else. You know, fix soda, fix weather, that, that whole thing. So, let's watch this live and then show the other one, then we'll talk about it. And there you have it. Alright, so we're going to make our way into one. And again, these laps aren't supposed to be the best. For one, I never drive this car. You know, like, not a regular at all. So there's probably more speed out there. So let's make our way into one. As usual, let me uh, slow-mo it. Because even I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, you see the... End of the grandstands is what I'm kind of looking at. You know, when you're driving, you kind of forget about it. So I still have my little intro. But you see what I'm talking about over here. See where these blue parts of the grandstands uh, come to an end? That's what I'm getting off the throttle. You can see I don't just jump out. I kind of roll out. Then I'm on the brakes just a little bit. Just enough to get the car to slow down, to get the nose down. And by the time we're at this first Iowa logo on the wall, we should be off the brakes. As we're trailing off there, you know, we're aiming for the bottom now. Easier said than done. You can see the track's quite a bit bumpy. So you see, once I get it pointed back down, I'm picking the throttle up. And you kind of want to roll back into it. Because if you just stand in it, you have a chance of just losing the rear end. So exit of two. We're going to prepare for three. Similar approach. We're kind of going to arc it in late. And here I'm kind of using the billboards way in the distance. Either way, we're looking over there at those three billboards. And you can see once it's the right side of my vehicle. In this field of view, you know, seating position once it's out of sight, I guess. We're coming into contact with the first of those billboards. Use the caution light if you want a more reasonable approach. You know, the light with the green thingy on it. That's usually where their uh, caution lights are. And uh, using some more brake. And this one I used a different approach. Use a little more brake and... You could turn it straight down like you would at Richmond, but I try to arc it down because you want a straighter launch. You can see I'm letting it roll to get to the bottom. Once it makes that approach, we're getting back on the throttle. Now we're like right on the edge of touching the apron there. And just like turn two, if you stand in it, there's a big chance it just leaves it. You can see it's getting really light. And uh, there you go. All right, that's it for this track guide. Again, not the best lap. Maybe. I don't know how fast people really are going, but like I said, I don't do much of these truck races, but I will uh, do all the tracks where you gotta have at least some skill of some sort. 
and I'll just do that to the start of the NASCAR season. So, yeah. Anyways, the recent we said.